in 2001 because of uh, the seizures and uh, the other health conditions caused by one of the previous medications, I was forced to leave a career in law enforcement. My name is Michael Francis and I'm from Texas, the Houston area. The first treatment I sought was to find out what was going on and it was determined at that point in time the only option for me was medication. Surgery was not an option because of where the seizures were concentrated from in my brain. The different medications that I've been on each time there would be a you know, short term improvement to the frequency of my seizures and severity but over you know, again a short period of time they would have to continually increase the dosage then the frequency of the seizures would return to a point where it was an extremely low level of control. Now, one medication that I was on, in fact, triggered a severe metabolic disruption that over the first five months of 2001 caused me to lose 90 pounds worth of weight. The lack of seizure control and that weight loss were the two contributory factors uh, that forced me to leave my career in law enforcement then return to school. I was spending so much time running into barriers, uh, dealing with different doctors, I kept looking for something else. If uh, you know something wasn't going on, uh, and I was like, what's the next thing I can do? And I was like, I gotta do something to get this under control. What's the next thing I can do? And that led me to the RNS. Uh, you know, first chance I had, I took that opportunity. And it is without a doubt the best thing I could have done to help control my epilepsy. Once the device was turned on, uh, the improvements started almost right away because they had the, it had been recording since the day the device had been placed. They were able to use that information to determine the tuning settings for the system itself, for the device itself, and make additional adjustments in my medication. And since March 17th of 2017, at this point I have not had a seizure since that date. I have two friends. No, they are probably the two that have supported me more than anybody else with everything I've been through. And I had not seen either one of them in no, more than seven years. And we just hadn't been able to get together. At the time that I got my driver's license back, since the beginning of 2019, I've been able to drive up to the Dallas-Fort Worth area and no, visit both of them. And the RNS has done wonderful on that one. The most excitement for my future comes from the fact that I can seek a long-term career. Now, I can actually get my own vehicle now, that man, be stingy about it. I want to be able to drive a manual transmission again. I like three pedals. And that I can then now, you know, spend more time out on my own, now, getting back into a public life, back into a more personal social life. No, those, that's what I'm looking forward to more than anything else.